shoot. Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Out in the moorlands, in the rural woods, king of the moorlands, I decided to come out and walk my property just to see what it was like this morning and just, just take a breath and a moment to listen to the birds and be in the green. This is going to sound really preachy. It's a long weekend for a lot of people around the world and everyone should take the opportunity to get out into the countryside and just be around nature. There's so many health benefits to being out. It's just great. Now, again, sorry, it, that was definitely 100% preachy, but if you get the opportunity, in fact, you should make the opportunity to get out. Today's video, <laughs> moving on quickly, today's video is a kind of a part two of a part one. So a few weeks ago, um, TacticalKnives.co.uk got in touch and asked if I'd like to you know, review a knife or a couple of knives. First one I went to is the CVV Elementum, which I'll, I'll leave a link at the end of this video so that you can see that one. And the second one was the CRKT Bonafide. This is um, a new knife out from CRKT and it's, it's the update to their previous knife that used the field strip um, mechanic technology. Um, for the way in which you can take this down, field strip it without any tools whilst out and about like this. And I thought this is a perfect place to come out and to make some content on it. Before we do make some content, I want to make, I want to make, I want to say a massive thank you to tacticalknives.co.uk. Um, I'll leave some links in the description below so that you can see them. This was sent to me free of charge to review, however, the discussion that I had with them was um, whether I like this knife or not, I will give you my truthful and honest opinion. In fact, I generally try to stay away from opinions, but try to give it so that it's more factual based. But um, yeah, the, I've not been paid favorably um, to say anything about this knife. If I like it, it's because I like it. If I don't like it, then I'll give you the reasons uh, as, as to why not. But massive thank you to tacticalknives.co.uk. I'll leave the links in the description below. I'll turn the camera around now so that you can see more from this. While I'm doing that, if you'd like to like this content at any point, then please feel to hit that like button, uh, share and subscribe and bona fide. Okay, so going into some details about the CRKT Bonafide. The overall length from the tip to the end of the scales here comes in at 207 millimeters. So this is actually one of the longer knives that I've ever reviewed. Um, it's, it's probably very similar to more of a fixed knife um, style length, um, but I think mainly because of its outdoors use, having the longer uh, knife certainly comes in handy for that sort of stuff. When it's closed, which it is very easy and nice and simple to close, it comes in at 118 millimeters, which still, if you're in an area that you can carry this knife as EDC, it's still within that, you know, pocket friendly style um, length. The blade itself um, comes in at 89 millimeters. Now, just to point out at this point, um, this is this unfortunately doesn't comply with UK friendly knife laws, mainly because the blade itself is longer than three inches, which is 76, 76.2 millimeters. Um, and it, it's, it's also a locking knife. That isn't to say that you know, you can't purchase or own a knife like this. Um, however, it just can't be carried without um, good reason in public. Um, but, you know, it makes a very good camp knife or outdoorsy knife, which, you know, it's specifically designed to be. Um, but that is something that definitely is worth noting that, you know, you're not going to be able to carry this in public, as I say, without a, an airtight reason as to why uh, you are carrying a knife like this. So to, to move on, so um, the the blade grind itself is a completely flat grind, which is very nice. It goes all the way up to um, 
to the to the back here on the shoulder here at the back there's some nice jimping that you can get some purchase on if you if you're using this knife um, the thickness of the stock is 3.4 millimeters um, the actual blade stock itself is 14116 which you know I'm not a metallurgist so I've, I've tried to do some investigation into this steel what I've found is that it's, it's actually a European it's a German steel and there's some uh, discussion on the internet as to what it's comparable to. Some people are saying that it's close to an Oz 6 steel. Some people are saying that it's probably closer to a 440C steel. Um, what I've found is, you know, I've, I've used this for EDC, but I've also been using this for stuff in the garden and stuff that, you know, outside the kind of stuff that this is designed for. Um, in all of that time, it's not gone dull. Uh, it's kept a very good edge. It stays is nice and clean um, so if, if you want to do some more investigation into the steel I definitely recommend it you know as I say I'm I'm trying to learn more about my steels but that's that's what people have compared it to hopefully you'll notice that there is a coating on this so this is a PVD coated just to help one it makes it look awesome <laughs> Uh, and two, it'll also help with any sort of wear and that, that sort of thing on it as well. Maintenance wise, uh, you may, you will still need to maintain a knife like this, um, but it certainly makes it easier to maintain when we look at the, um, the, the feel strip mark two that you can do with it. Now the scales themselves, if I, let's close this again. The scales themselves, if I try and see if we can get this in the sun so it actually looks like an old-fashioned knife where you've got maybe this this has been um, textured so that it feels like um, like it's made from wood actually it actually feels more like it's been designed to feel like it's been made from a staghorn where you've got a spacer and a metal bolster here at the end um, but it, it's it's actually all aluminium and it's all one piece and it's made from uh, ADC 12 aluminium so it stays nice and strong but also ensures that it stays nice and light as well but I do quite like it there are two versions of this so there is a silver version which almost looks like a gunmetal silver uh, and then there is this one which is the OD green version um, as always with these colour knives you, <laughs> you have to be super careful when you put this down um, it likes to get lost. Um, I think it was last weekend. It took me a good 20 minutes to realize that, you know, yeah, I'd lost it. As far as opening and closing is concerned, I hope you'll have seen before, but you've got a nice little flick point there. It really just falls right into the last place. I know last time when I was talking about the CVV Elementum, it, having a knife that flicks and it's got a very nice, oh, that was my fault, a very nice smooth action, really one it's very fidgety but two it makes it very simple to open so it is a flicker um, there are ball bearings in here which make it very 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 smooth um, you have then as far as constructions wise you have then the liners and then you'll see that there is a liner lock in here that depresses which allows it to fall down it will um, drop shut Mainly at the moment it isn't, you know, my thumb is in the way there, but I actually prefer a knife that just does have, just uh, just allows you to have a little bit more control of it when it shuts. If you wanted to drop shut it, you know, you can do, it will shut nice and easy, um, but you know, it's a great knife and it's a very simple knife to get open. Um, those ball bearings really do make it buttery smooth. As far as the construction will go, you might notice that you know you've got some pins on this side. Um, there's your pivot pin. You've got some other pins on this side. The pivot pin on this side is much larger than this side, which there isn't one. <clears throat> that mainly comes down to the construction on the inside, which we'll have a look in uh, at a second. That's probably a couple of things to point out before we get to the inside, is you have a deep pocket carry clip here. Um, it does show a little bit of uh, a little bit of meat on the bone there, but you know, it, it's not particularly a lot, but I definitely call this deep pocket carry. And then there is a really generous section here that you can put lanyards into if, uh, if, if you want to do that. A nice colourful lanyard definitely makes this easier to find if you drop it on the floor anywhere out here in the woods. Okay, now I've mentioned the field strip um, 
that was on this. So that, as I say, there was another few years back uh, that had it where you, there was a, a, a pin that you had to release and then you had to kind of fiddle with something at the back. Um, it was, you know, it wasn't particularly difficult to strip, but what they've been able to do with this is make it even easier. Hopefully you'll see that there are two locked positions. So you've got, this is uh, closed or fastened together, and then this is to open it. And all you simply have to do is push it up, slide it forward, and there you go. This is now unlocked. And what you can do is you can take the top piece off. Here you have the blade and the bearings. Hopefully you can see those there. Uh, these are really nice, smooth bearings. And then here you have the back part, which has the, um, the liner lock on there as well. So you can actually look it into more into the construction here. If this was a typical knife, here you'd have the pins that would hold the spaces in place. Usually, you know, you have a couple at the back, and this is your pivot pin, and that is the uh, the rotation pin. They're all still on here, hopefully again, as you can see. So when you're putting it together, you just have to make sure that it is on the pivot pin there and that the rotation pin is in. And then to put it back on, it's just a simple case of here is the front detent, there is the back detent, putting these on so that this then slides down. And it's actually easier to lock than it, than it is to, to unlock. Um, but all can be done with, with one hand. Um, so uh, here we go again, you know, you push it forward or at least up and forward, there it is unlocked you can take it apart so if you if you are very you know outdoorsy or even if you work doing something where you have a knife that you find that you're taking apart a lot this is just perfect for that sort of stuff now I've not been out and I've not been out and skinned some rabbits or field dressed some pheasants with this but with the the geometry of the knife it makes it very easy for that the belly comes up quite, um, belly comes up quite close to the front this sweep makes it nice for um, duties like skinning that sort of stuff um, the actual geometry on here rather than it being a drop point uh, it does look very similar to a drop point but it's 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 perfectly symmetrical through the middle making it a spear point um, it's very useful it's a very strong edge uh, spear and drop point um, it, it's you know it's, with it being roughly between the two it makes it nice and strong um, with very little flex to it um, but yeah so the last couple of things I forgot to point out so on the back here you can see that it's the bona fide uh, it's an onion design from Ken onion uh, and then you can see that there are some patents on there as well hopefully if I can get that in the uh, in the in the sunlight but just again if you did want to see it you know to take it down you lift it up push it forward and then there you go it takes it out what you can do is if i hopefully i don't know if you'll see this or not but if you look into this hole here and here the action itself what it does is it, it has two pieces of metal that push forward so on the construction of these pins you'll see that there is a oh, let's get that in the light properly sorry about that you'll see that there are two lips um, on each of these pins. So as this pushes in, if I do this backwards, if we look at this one here, hopefully you'll be able to see that a small piece of metal slides across there to hold those pins into place. Um, but you know, that's that's the that's the smoke and mirrors that makes it work. That's that's the mechanics, but it's very, very simple mechanics. <laughs> I've just fudged to try and get that back on because I was trying to look at it through the camera, but there we go, it's all fixed. Opening and closing the knife, uh, when it opens, it locks really well into position. I've done a lot of banging, Okay, that sounded weird. I've done a lot of hitting kind of things with this knife. I've not tried to batten with it. Maybe I should have tried to batten with it, but you don't re generally tend to batten with a with a, a folding knife. Um, but you know, it locks into position really well. As far as give, there is a tiny, tiny bit of give in it. Now, I don't think it's anything that would concern myself. I mean, if, if I was to push the tip of the blade forwards and backwards, it might only be, say, half a millimeter. It, it really is that small. But I think mainly that become, comes down to the way in which this is constructed and the, um, 
the tolerances on the inside to make sure that you can still use it and put it together nice and easy. Um, but it's nothing that really would concern me or, you know, what you get with CRKT knives is you get that reliability that they are very good and strong knives. Um, the clo closing it itself, as I say, there's the liner lock, but the knife itself always falls dead center, and uh, it's, it's it's a great knife. It really is a great knife for outdoors type use when you've got something that you need to be able to strip down to uh, to clean it out. Now, I definitely think CRKT have improved on the previous um, field strip mechanic. Um, I haven't got any experience of actually using the previous one, but from what I've seen and the way in which you, you took down the knife, it wasn't particularly difficult. However, this is very simple with that lift, push forward, and it's unlocked. You know, I've just done it with one hand. When it's together to, to get them to lock again, you know, you just slide it back and it works. You've got the knife that functions in your hand. If you're the type of person that wants or needs a knife that is easily cleaned, then I think this will definitely be a knife for you. And I might even go out on a limb. Please correct me if I'm wrong, because I know hopefully you will do, but I don't think there are very many other knives out there like this that you can strip one with one hand and two just be able to strip that easily without any tools another thing that i forgot to mention is that on the release button or release lever whatever we're going to call this there's quite a bit of aggressive knurling on there um, so if you're you've got dirty hands or you're wearing gloves maybe um, i'd like to think if you're going to clean a knife like this then you probably want to make sure that your hands were clean first but if you did have dirty hands then you could you could still do that um, with dirty hands or, or if you're wearing gloves as well i think for me i'm very impressed with this knife and all it's almost a shame the fact that here in the uk i can't edc this on a daily basis i'm getting used to and i'm starting to appreciate flippers more there's a massive fidget factor with that plus the uniqueness of this that if i did get it dirty i could have this in my pack or you know in fact i will keep this in my pack for when i'm outdoors um, and be able to strip it down give it a clean put it back together and you know it just works it's a great knife Definitely a good point to say a huge thank you to tacticalknives.co.uk Again, you know, there'll be some links in the description here If you want to find them on Instagram or Facebook, I'll also leave some of their links in the description below as well Hopefully this will be the start of a blossoming relationship between tacticalknives.co.uk and Moorland EDC The Kingdom, the, you know, the kingdom and the Moorlands welcomes one and all to our fair nation and um, I think tacticalknives.co.uk will be uh, a, a great partner moving forward as well. Um, for me, if you'd like to find out more about um, Moreland EDC, then there'll be some links here as well. Do you know, I have been mulling this over in a while. I, it might, I, I'll probably do two pieces. You know, I'll do my normal Sunday one, but maybe, maybe if I just did a nice welcome to the kingdom of the Moorlands kind of video and maybe showed you a little bit more about the Kingdom of the Moorlands and my fair lands that I reside over as the 624th King in the Moorlands. Anyway, um, so yeah, there'll be some links below. If you'd like to like this, that would be great. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be even better. And if you'd like to share, sharing apparently really helps with the YouTube algorithm and would be awesome if you'd like to share my content. That would be amazing. Even if you just send it to yourself, via whatsapp that even helps but for now let's finish with a stay safe stay more under and stay edc